Hey guys, thanks for tuning back into the Ginger Binger YouTube show. Uh, this week we're going to do our PS3 collection because last time our PS4 collection was our best video this far. So I thought, let's keep the train going and let's just jump right into this, alright? Now, just like last time, it's not going to be an in-depth review of each game because it would be like eight hours long. But just my general thoughts and opinions of each game. So let's just jump into it and let's have some fun. Alright, we're starting off with an instant classic. Uh, Watch Dogs. Um, I'm being sarcastic about this because this game is a piece of junk in my opinion. Uh, when I first saw the E3 footage, it looked beautiful, it looked crisp, it looked fun and interesting. And then when I got the game, it was dull, it was gray, it was boring. Absolutely a waste of money in my opinion. I don't know how they made a series out of this. Um, if you enjoy it, it's not an attack on you, just my personal preference. Alright, so we have Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. Uh, really enjoy this game. Don't remember a whole lot about it. It's been years since I played it, but I do remember having fun. I enjoy all the Uncharted games, and you know, the next two or three are just going to be Uncharted games, so let's just jump right into those two. But yeah, Drake's Deception, really good. If you haven't played the Uncharted games, what are you doing? They're on the PS4 and Drake's uh, bundle or something like that. They're like 30 bucks. Give it a shot. Uncharted 2. Among Thieves, this is my favorite Uncharted game, and number four is right behind it. But this game was the second game I ever got for the PS3. I remember I got it one Christmas, and uh, I knew this was on sale for Boxing Day, so I went out and picked that up right away, and it was absolutely worth it. You know, it deserves all the praise it gets. Naughty Dog, in my opinion, is one of my favorite developers. Uh, that's a controversial opinion to some people, but I truly support these guys in every endeavor they go through. Now, Uncharted, uh, the first one, Drake's Fortune, this is my least favorite one, and it was one of the last ones I played. It's not, it's not that it's bad, it's that I played Uncharted 2, 3, and 4 first, so going back to this, it's, it's, you're going, you're taking steps backwards. So it's not that there's a problem with this game, it's just in the order that I played it. But it is a really solid game, good, fun, uh, graphics haven't aged well, but that's with any game, you know, the graphics, they never age well ten years down the road, so... I do recommend it though. I recommend the whole series. Mirror's Edge. So this isn't mine. This is my girlfriend's. And for those watching, take a shot. Every time I say my girlfriend, uh, you'll be drunk very soon. Uh, she's told me this game is a real fun um, parkour adventure game. I uh, never played it though. Been meaning to. I uh, will get around to it though. And I will do like a quick little video on my thoughts on it. I swear. Max Payne 3. I really enjoyed this game. I've played a couple of the other Ma uh, Max Payne's, never finished them, but this one I did. I really enjoy the story behind it. I love a noir story, uh, and as some of you will know, I love talking about detectives, shootouts, anything along those lines. The gun mechanics in this game are really good. The story gets me to connect with Max Payne. He's a real rugged, depressing character, and I absolutely enjoy this. And Rockstar, again, just like Naughty Dog, one of my favorite publishers out there. Another Rockstar title, L.A. Noir, and just speaking of Noir, why don't we just keep to it? I enjoyed the hell out of this game. I was disappointed that there wasn't more to it, and honestly, it looking back on it, it, it is kind of ridiculous with the facial expressions when you're trying to read people, and you can tell they're lying because they go from having an expression like this to when they're lying, they go, you know, it, it is what it is. I enjoyed the story. I enjoyed the concept. I would like to see them take another crack at it with a possible sequel or maybe another property that uses this facial technology. All in all though, uh, really fun game. Recommend checking it out if you like detective uh, games. Infamous 2. I, you know, I, I don't remember too much about this. The Infamous games are kind of just, um, I would describe them as just being there. They're fun to play, but you don't take home too much of it. You turn your brain off when you play them. Uh, not much of a difference between that and the first one, I think. I do like the addition of the um, the hook. Not the hook. It's like a baton he uses as a weapon. But it doesn't do too much different, honestly. I, I would skip this if I, if I could go back and tell myself. You know, just save your money. Infamous 1. This was the first game I ever got with my PS3. Uh, I think it came with it. And it was very fun uh, to play it. I really enjoyed this. Um, this is, in my opinion, the best Infamous game. Uh, it's just the one that I played first, but the other two really don't do much different. Um, the character is pretty basic. The choices, I feel, don't really matter, but I like the concept. It's a fun game to just turn your brain off to. Hitman Absolution. Now, 
I have a problem with this game. I don't think it's bad. I don't like the direction that it took. After playing Hitman Blood Money, which in my opinion is the best Hitman game out there, this took a step in the wrong direction. It had a lot more linear levels and a lot more... It, it tried to... It focused too much on story, which for me is not what I play Hitman for. I play Hitman for the sandbox levels that allow me to kill our targets in many different ways. There were only like two or three in this game if I'm remembering correctly. A lot of the game was just linear story. And it kind of gives me like a like a Logan vibe where you're trying to take care of this young child or something. But it didn't do it as well as the movie Logan did. So, you know, eh, blood money's still better. Tron Evolution, this is my girlfriend's game and I haven't played it. Uh, I just grab all our games at once to do these videos, so it's not that I look through them. Um, she says it's good, she enjoys it. Um, I can't speak to it. Uh, I've actually, I actually only saw the movie Tron with Jeff Bridges here within the last year. I enjoyed it. It was fun. Beautiful visuals. Uh, not much to write home about though in my opinion, so I can't speak on the game though. South Park, The Stick of Truth. I absolutely adore this game. Anything that the South Park creators do, I am 100% behind. This game was fun. It made real good use of a parody of the genre of RPGs. Um, just, you can tell that the people who made this, who wrote this, are gamers. They enjoyed what they did. Everything about this game, I would find, they, they kind of hit the nail on the head. I can't remember too much that I didn't like. I mean, even the gameplay, like, it, it's pretty basic. It's your basic, you know, turn-based RPG, but with a South Park skin. And when you say it like that, it comes off as, oh, this is just a cheap cop-out, but it's not. It's well thought out. It's it got a fun story. The jokes land almost every time. The, 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 um, when you get to, at the start of the game, when you get to pick your race, you have your, like, your warrior, your thief, your mage, and then you have your fourth one, which is just pure South Park, the Jew. Yeah, hilarious. I played as the Jew the entire time, and it was absolutely worth it. Sleeping Dogs. Now, I, I don't remember a whole lot about this game. I do remember when I bought it, though, it was supposed to be, uh, not when I bought it, I should say. Originally, this was supposed to be the third true crime game, and I like true crime New York City. Some people don't. I understand why. Uh, so I bought this with that in mind, and I had a full blast with it. I don't think I'm ever going to go back to playing it. It was not one of those games that I, you know, feel like, oh, I need to go back and enjoy it. Uh, it just doesn't have that. But if you like uh, combat, shooting, and any type of Yakuza, gangster, um, storyline and plot lines, you really like this. Um... Think of it as like The Departed meets like a Jackie Chan movie. So check it out if you like that kind of stuff. Skyrim. Now I originally bought this on the Xbox 360 and when I decided to buy it on the PS3 it's because my Xbox had been broke for a long time and I didn't think I was going to get a new one. I was just a poor college kid at the time, fresh out of high school. So I decided to pick this up. It was like $10. Uh, I don't think I can say anything about Skyrim that hasn't already been said. It is a, it was m one of my first like big medieval RPG games and honestly I think they hit, the, hit it right out of the park. I enjoyed it. It's basic though. When I say basic it is, it's for somebody like me who's not into as many, as much RPGs including stats and all that. I really don't play that type of style. I'm more of a berserker or a thief. Um, I stay away from magic. It's just my, not my cup of tea. But I really enjoy this especially because you can play this game however you want. There is no right or wrong way to play it. You can play the whole game as a lumberjack cutting down trees in your mill and have your house and your wife. Or you can be a warrior who takes down dragons. Or you can just be like an assassin. There's so many different options on this. You can live so many different lives playing Skyrim. And I guarantee you I will be playing it again soon. Red Dead Redemption and Red Dead Redemption The Undead Nightmare. This game is a classic. I love westerns. This game really showed that story and character can drive a game. The gameplay is fine, but it's really just Grand Theft Auto Horse. It's the basic mechanics of a Grand Theft Auto game. Um, but the story is absolutely wonderful. The gameplay I enjoy. It just took Grand Theft Auto with an interesting character, an interesting story, put it in the Wild West. How, how can you ask for more than that? Recommend it. If you guys haven't seen my PS4 video, I praise Red Dead 2. Red Dead 1, fucking amazing. Sorry for the language. I'm trying not to swear as much. It's kind of a New Year's resolution for me. Not that I think there's anything wrong with swearing. I'm just trying to do it for my sake. 
The Last of Us. Now, if you've seen uh, my Last of Us 1 and 2 uh, critique video, you'll know I really enjoyed this game. Uh, I didn't find it as entertaining until I got to the snow levels playing with Ellie when you meet that group of cannibals. Um, but I am going to go back and start replaying this just at night when I'm trying to fall asleep. Uh, I've kind of just got on a Last of Us kick after making that video, so I hope to get in and play a little bit more and enjoy the characters more. And maybe after replaying this, I may rethink my Last of Us 2 thoughts. So who knows, you know, maybe I might have to do a redo on that. Let me know what you guys think down below. Twisted Metal. Oh, I love this game so much. I, one of my first games I remember playing is Twisted Metal 2 on the original PlayStation, probably back in like 1999. That might, you know, age me so much for some of you guys, but it was so fun. When I heard they were doing a reboot of this series, I was so excited. I remember watching, I think it was E3 2009 or E3 2010, and they brought out the Sweet Tooth uh, car on the stage. It was epic. I was so excited for this. And this game is everything that you miss. The only thing I would critique about this game is that it feels like it doesn't have as many cars. All the cars kind of feel like they play the same in my opinion. It's just, it's a little too grimy. I would like a little bit more color to it. It's a very gray game, um, but absolute fun. Me and the girlfriend take a shot, play this co-op all the time, and we just have a blast. Great soundtrack too, actually. Really good soundtrack. Not enough games get enough credit for that, but the soundtrack in this game, top notch. Heavy Rain. Now, I think I mentioned this in my PS4 review because I have it on the PS4 as well, but this game is an absolute joy. Um, it's not for everybody though. It's a, it's very heavily story and it's a lot of quick time events. So that turns a lot of people off. I really don't mind a quick time event. I enjoy story and the outcomes that this game can give. You can have a bunch of different outcomes where characters die, that changes the plot, it changes the ending. So games like this, like what is it? Who makes this? Quantum Dreams I think it is? They absolutely have my money. Anytime they do something, I want to check it out because I it all started with this. So, really recommend it if you like a detective noir style games. Every time I play this, it's like I gotta play it in the spring on a rainy day uh, because of the title. You know, I'm original, right? Um, but no, I really enjoy this game. And as you can tell with all these, I enjoy most of these. There are very few games that I buy that I don't like. Watch Dogs being the exception because screw that game. The God of War Saga. So I've only played the first one of this, and it's it's not my style of a game. I picked this up because it was only $15, and I wanted to try the God of War games. They turn out, they're just not for me, these ones. I love the one on the PS4, but these are more beat-em-ups, and I'm not really a beat-em-up fan. But I may go back to it one day if I ever have time, uh, but I can't speak too much on this. Really cool concept, though. I love Greek mythology and anything along those lines. Those games are going to fall. Godfather, the Dawn's Edition. Now, I've probably played the Godfather on every console that the Godfather's been on. I picked this one up for the sole reason that I know you can hire a crew to help you... Um, what is it? No, it's a hit squad. You can hire a hit squad to come help you in the game. And you can hire another goon on top of that. So you're walking around with like four or five other dudes wrecking shop. It's great. Um, great great game, honestly. Really underrated movie tie-in game. Um, the only thing I would say that is a complaint with it, in my opinion, is it's just a product of its time, you know? Like this, uh, the driving mechanics kind of kind of aren't the best because the cars act heavier. Because uh, they're those thick old cars you saw in the 40s and the 30s. Uh, well done, though. I think they tied in the story real well. And you can tell how old this game is, too, because you can see the PS3 logo on the side there. Those are like the original, like the first year of like PS3 games that came out. So, really enjoyed. If you like the movie, give it a watch. Or not give it a watch, give it a playthrough. If you haven't already. I mean, how have you not? This game's been out for, what, 15, 16 years at this point? Um, but all in all, one of the better movie tie-in games. Final Fantasy 13. I haven't played it. This is the girlfriend's not a Final Fantasy fan. What can you do? Dishonored. Now, I started to play this, and I didn't get into it. Um, I feel like I would now, though, in my position, where you can play the game as either stealth or action-y. Um, just when I started playing it, it started to give me a little bit of motion sickness, I guess. I don't know what it was about the camera, but... Um, 
Shannon, my girlfriend, has played this and she really enjoys it, so I am going to check it out again. I like the concept of it and I like the, um, the plot. So, I will get back to it. Um, we have Dishonored 2, I'd probably play that at one point too. Um, it's just all about finding time and, you know, trying to do, build a content creation channel like my YouTube channel and trying to get work in film and write my own scripts and do other things and work a full-time job and start a wood business as well. I've got a lot on my plate, but I am doing my best, guys, so... Check us out for more later on during this week. There should be more coming up. Demon Souls. Now, I, I think I can thank Pete Dorr for turning me on to this game because he started, he did a video where he mentioned it. And this game is really fun. It was the first Souls game I ever played because it was the first Souls game ever released. Um, and with it just being released too on the PS5, and the one thing though is I never completed this game. I only got so far and I don't think I've ever completed a Soulsborne game at all. It's just so much effort and so much um, grinding that I just don't have the patience for it. But I do enjoy playing it because I love the atmosphere this game gives me. And it always gives me a sense of impending dread and anxiety when I play but not in a negative way. It's just more, I gotta get to the next save, I gotta get to the next save. <sighs> I think that can be said for all these games. But check it out if you haven't. Check out the PS5 version because it's probably easier to find. Uh, champion Jockey, girlfriend game, don't like horse games, not a real horse guy. Bioshock Infinite. This is my girlfriend's game, but she's had me play a little bit of it. And I don't know what it is. I just can't get into the Bioshock franchise. I don't know why. It has a great setting and a great concept. The gameplay of it, though, just doesn't do it for me in my opinion. It does come with the original Bioshock 2 and I play, tried to play that, didn't get into it. And yeah, there's not much I can really say about this, unfortunately. A lot of people love it, it's just not my cup of tea. Maybe I'll try it again, but you know, after trying all three games and not getting into any of them, three strikes you're out in my opinion. Bioshock 2. This was the one though that I actually found and I enjoyed playing the most, but I didn't finish it. Um, it's funny because a lot of people say they don't like this, this is their least favorite, but I enjoy playing as the Big Daddy. The Big Daddy to me has some of the coolest lore and the coolest um, look to any character in that universe. Uh, not much I really remember about it though. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to go back to playing this, but I keep games because I like holding them. I know some of you in the comments agreed with me that you like holding your games and being able to have them. In my opinion, if you don't own it, or if you can't hold it, you don't own it. So. I do enjoy collecting games, though. Alright. Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I really enjoy this game. I have never finished it, though, unfortunately. I just... I've probably gotten so far. I just never finished the story, because every time I play it, I just go on... I just get on my pirate ship and just start raiding pirate ships. It's just really fun. Hi, Katana. Good to see you. You'll make another appearance. Um, really enjoy the, the character. Uh, Edward Kenway is really good. I think his last name is Kenway. Um... Yeah, I like the concept. I think they went with the right direction after Assassin's Creed 3 to go with um, the pirate setting because that was the most, that was in my opinion my favorite part of Assassin's Creed 3, which is the next game we're going to be talking about here. Oh no, it's another copy of Black Flag. Me and my girlfriend uh, had our own copies. Assassin's Creed 3. This one seems to get a lot of hate from the Assassin's Creed community. I don't really know why. I found the game to be really good. Um, I really enjoyed the start of the game where you're playing as Haytham and he turns out to be a Templar. So I thought that was really well done. I can see why people think it took a lot, long time to get started, but I enjoyed that slow burn effect. Uh, the story I thought was really good. I uh, don't really remember all that much about it. It's been years since I played it. Uh, enjoyed the setting. Uh, the American Revolution was a good concept. Uh, the only thing I would say is sometimes in the forest levels was a little too bear for my opinion or bear uh, like what's the word um, empty that's the word I'm looking for but all in all I enjoyed this game Assassin's Creed Revelations I don't really enjoy this game all too much I thought it would be cool but I feel like at this point they were just milking uh, Ezio and Desmond's story just for everything they had and it had a very unsatisfying ending with me um, and I really don't care for Altair. I didn't like the first Assassin's Creed game. It's dull. It's boring. Um, yeah, not much really to say about this. The only thing I remember about this game is they introduced the hook that you can grab onto, and that's not enough to justify a $60 game, in my opinion. 
Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. This was my one of my favorite Assassin's Creed games. It uh, was the first game to introduce multiplayer, and I really enjoyed their multiplayer. Ew, something about this. Oh, that's why it's not. Yeah. Uh, this game to me though is real fun. I had a blast playing it and uh, developing your Assassin's Creed League. I think was it your Assassin's Creed League or your own Brotherhood? It was really fun. Um, yeah. Not much else I can say about it though. It's uh, mostly the multiplayer I enjoyed. Uh, yeah, I can't remember much about the story though. And finally, Assassin's Creed 2. This was the game that r gave the resurgence back to the Assassin's Creed game because after the first one, everybody was disappointed. They, you know, I'll give Ubisoft credit. They listened to their audience at by the at this point. Um, they made a great story. They made a great. They made gameplay more interesting. They made the whole world more interesting. And Ezio was a great character who wasn't overdone at this point. This was his first appearance, and you got behind him. You got to like him. And I actually enjoyed Miles or Desmond Miles' uh, story at this point. So this game right here is to thank for all the Assassin's Creed games we have. So honestly, I should be half pissed off at it because now they're just doing game after game after game. It's like I don't care. Um, but no, I remember when this game came out and all the reviewers were like, this is the game that, this is what Assassin's Creed 1 should have been. And it's totally true. So that's my game collection, guys. What games have you played that you like? Show me your collection. What games do you think I should play more of? What games do you think I absolutely have no idea what I'm talking about? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, keep on binging.